Good afternoon, Mr. Banda. This is Mr. Banda speaking to you from France. Now, uh, the reason I'm talking to you today is because I'm a bit disappointed with you. And let me explain that. Uh, the reason is that uh, I sent you an invitation about 24 hours ago to come to France, uh, all expenses paid by myself, so that we can discuss this matter and find a solution. Now, I find that you yourself, I don't know what's going on because there's silence radio from your side. It means that uh, we are not hearing or seeing you at all, at all, not at all. I don't know what's going on. Eh? So let me tell you something. Let me remind you of the facts. The facts in this case are very important. You are the one who came looking for me. It's not me who came looking for you. Eh? And uh, I'm trying my best to find a, a justice solution to this problem. And I even offered you very attractive terms and conditions to come and live here in Paris. Now, the fact that you have disappeared tells me something. I, I, I'm almost 99% sure that you are discussing uh, your strategy with uh, whoever is sending you after me, you know? So... I know what you're up to, my boy. You know, I was not born yesterday. Eh? It's been more than 50 years I'm walking on this earth, which means I've seen all kinds of creatures. And I don't mean just the wild animals uh, in Africa. Eh? I mean wild people like you. Eh? People who don't have guts. Eh? Why I'm saying that is you came looking after me. Now you are hiding. Eh? Do, you, do you know that... Uh, in, in Africa, you have a bed in Tanzania. I remember when uh, Julius Nyerere was the president of, of Tanzania. Uh, in the state house, there used to be uh, some ostriches which, ra which were running around uh, the grounds of the state house. And you remind me of one of those, you know, one of those beds. Because those beds, when they were scared, they would just put uh, their head in the ground. And leave that big body hanging outside. And they, because he could not see anything, he thought that he was safe because he couldn't see anything. But what he forgot was the whole world could see him. So now you are behaving like that ostrich. Okay? So let me tell you, this does not please me talking to you. You, you are not a young man yourself. Eh? You, you've, 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 you've reached a certain age. I don't know how old you are exactly. But uh, from the photo I've seen of you, you're a certain age and you're supposed to be a mature man. Eh? So you are the one who started this. I'm reminding you of this fact. And now you're hiding. Let me tell you, you know, I'm the kind of guy I like to finish things. So if you start something, please have the guts to finish it. Because I'm, I'm getting impatient to find a solution to this problem. Eh? So now I'm the one who wants the solution the, 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 as fast as possible. Do you understand? And you hiding is not going to help at all, Mr. Banda. So please get your head out of that hole and pick up the phone or just uh, tell me when you want to fly, I'll send you the tickets. By the way, talking of presidents, African presidents, I would just like to say on a very, on another note here that uh, the two presidents that I admire the most was Malimu Julius Nyerere of Tanzania and Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda of Zambia. These were great men. These were indeed the incredibly great men and great presidents. And we'll never forget them. We'll never forget these people. They were not at all like some of the other the, the presidents that we had in, in Africa, people who, who just didn't have that kind of dedication to their people. But uh, uh, Mwalimu Julius Nyerere and Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, I want to stress this point to all my friends out there. These were great men and we, we recognize them and we'll remember them until our deaths. Eh? So coming back now to this issue, uh, I want to stress again that you are the one, Mr. Banda, who came looking after me. And believe me, if you know me well, I'm a guy who's going to take the fight to the enemy and I'm waiting eagerly to see your, what you're going to propose or whether you're going to still keep hiding in that hole of yours. If you stay in that hole, don't think you're safe because I'm capable of coming and dragging you out of that hole and bringing you back here. So I would advise you, please get your head out of that hole and come and talk to me. The best thing, you know, I, I actually, please, I don't want to sound like I'm threatening you. I just, I, treat, I think you're a brother. In fact, you're a brother to me. So 
as a brother, I'm just giving you advice. So I think really, really, my brother, my brother, Mr. Banda, um, I think the best thing, this is just advice. The best thing for you to do is to contact me as soon as possible so that we can find this solution. And as a brother, I'm telling you, it will be better for you. you believe me, it will be better for you. So with that uh, last uh, statement, I'm going to say bye-bye to you. And, uh, and I'm hoping to hear from you very, very soon. So take, take care and have a very good day, brother. Mr. Banda, I've got your message very much. I'm very clear with your message. Now, Mr. Banda, it is two o'clock in the morning here in wherever I am. You don't need to know where I am. In fact, I was just mm. traveling. You are right in assuming that I uh, am making some movements. In fact, uh, you are absolutely correct. What you are seeing here is a, a studio. Can we say that this is a, what is known as a hallucination? Or in the olden days, uh, they used to say that you just uh, float the image on television. So this is just that. This is uh, this image you are seeing here. You know, I've got very sophisticated equipment which you might just see bits and pieces of. But the fact of the matter is, Mr. Banda, we are, we are monitoring you and we are tracking you. We are tracking you. So, we, we are on the move. Just know that we are on the move. Okay. So, as you can see, we are also matching you for eyeglasses to eyeglasses, jacket to jacket, and very soon we will look like you. Very soon. You know, we will look like you. So, we just arrived here, I will not mention where, we've arrived from somewhere, we, to, we've arrived, we've left from somewhere to arrive at somewhere. So we've left somewhere and arrived at somewhere. That's all you need to know. Now I've told you before that the Zambia is very capable to handle the people like yourself. Because we've had the, we've been bombed all our lives. You know that you being born in Tanzania, Tanganyika, Zanzibar, Tazara, all those things. I don't have to remind you those things. You know, you being born there, it doesn't mean that uh, you can uh, have the immunity to immunity to just escape from uh, your responsibilities. Okay, so we are going to now explain to you what is going to happen. But before that, I'm going to listen to your stupid uh, message to me because I think that uh, you think you're very clever. So I will remind you again about this Kalulu uh, story of this Kalulu rabbit and that uh, and that tortoise. In the end, you know what happened. So, don't think that you're Kalulu. We are just uh, going to come after you. So, we're just going to listen to what you have to say here, and uh, we'll we'll give you our feedback and our comments. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Banda. It's not afternoon where I am, but it doesn't matter where I am now. This is Mr. Banda speaking. I know that. Now, uh, the reason I'm talking to you today is because I'm a bit disappointed with you. And let me explain that. Uh, the reason is that uh, I sent you an invitation about 24 hours ago. to come to France, uh, all expenses paid by myself, so that we can discuss this matter and find a solution. We have already now, arrived. Uh, we have already arrived where we need to arrive. That's all you need to know. And that you yourself, I don't know what's going on because there is silence radio from your side. It means that uh, we are not hearing or seeing you at all, at all. It is known as radio silence, radio silence. You're correct. Not at all. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So let me tell you something. Let me remind you of the facts. The facts in this case are very important. Tazara went down under. That is the fact. You are the one who came looking for me. It's not I thought I'd crack a joke. Not me who came looking for you, eh? And uh, at two o'clock in the morning, I tend to crack jokes, you know, like we crack eggs. So I just thought I'll just crack a joke. I thought you would find it funny, but that's okay. You don't seem to be enjoying my joke. I'm trying my best to find a, a just solution. You have to try much harder. This is not good enough. You have to try even more harder. This problem, and they yeah, even offered you very attractive terms and conditions to come and live here in Paris. I don't know if that is a good incentive enough for me or myself. Now the fact that you have disappeared tells me something. I'm going looking for Chibuko. I, I, I'm almost 99% sure that 
you are discussing your strategy with the, whoever is sending you after me, you know? No, we're not discussing. We're on the way. So, I know what you have to my boy. You know, I was not born yesterday. In fact, you were born yesterday. I'm born before you by one day. So, therefore, you were born yesterday. It's been more than 50 years I'm walking on this earth. Which means I've seen all kinds of creatures. Have you seen giraffes? And I don't mean just the wild animals. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Have you seen giraffes? Have you seen uh, hippopotamuses? Have you seen uh, these type of creatures? Have you seen them? I mean wild people like you. Anyway, you know, we, we are to survive in the wilderness. But how could we but not be wild? This is what I want to know from you. You know, in the wilderness, when you are dealing with snakes, kangaroos, pythons, tigers, panthers, leopards, giraffes, elephants, lions, how can you be a gentleman with them? Would you survive? You yourself, tell me the truth, Mr. Banda. You yourself would have become a wild man, a wild man. So... There's nothing to be ashamed about. But anyways, continue. Eh? People don't have guts, eh? Why? Iwe, 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 Iwe. You don't know how much guts you need to handle a cobra and a lion at the same time. Have you any idea what, what it takes for you to handle a lion and a cobra? Do you know what it means to do this? the two at the same time? One hand the cobra, one hand a lion. They're going to kill you. You have to decide which one you want to die with. Do you realize that is what has been... My life has been staying with the death defying problems like a lion on one side and a cobra on the other. I'm saying that is... You came looking after me, now you are hiding. Iwe, 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 you've got it all wrong. You know, Zambia, we never hide from anyone. We are here, you can find us on the map. Just look for Zambia, type it in the internet, you'll find it. And just look for Google, Google Maps, and you'll find Zambia. We're not hiding from you. We are, we are there. We're not, we've not gone anywhere. Do you, do you know that uh, in, in Africa, you have a bed in Tanzania, I remember when uh, Julius Nyerere was the president of, of Tanzania. Uh, in the state house, there used to be uh, some ostriches which, ra which were running around uh, the grounds of the state house. Just a quick question for you. What were you doing running after these beds? We just want to know, were you chasing those beds? What were you running behind those beds for? Were you trying to rob those beds as well? And you remind me of... This seems to be a pattern in your life all the time, all the time. One of those, you know, one of those beds. Because those beds, when they were scared, they would just put uh, their head in the ground and leave that big body hanging outside. And they, because he could not see anything, he thought that he was safe because he couldn't see anything. But what he forgot was the whole world could see him. So now you are behaving like that ostrich. Are you calling me an ostrich, you, Mr. Banda? You know, all this time, I've been affording you the respect and the decency of a gentleman. Now, you are posing yourself to be like that famous criminal, fam famous criminal called Don. Do you know this chap called Don was very popular in, this, in, in Bombay, in India. This man was so famous that, in fact, the people of India made a movie about him called Don. And the punchline, Mr. Banda, was this. You know... It's not difficult to catch Don. In fact, he would say that himself. He would say that it's not difficult to catch me. It's just impossible. So you've now become yourself. You think you are like that Don. But let me remind you something with a lot of respect and politeness I'm going to tell you. Number one, you are not Don. Number two, you are Banda. Banda means the one who comes close to the earth. So the word Banda comes from the word bandanas, which means close to the earth. You can look it up, just uh, in giving you some information. I like to do a lot of research. And also the fact of the matter is that you cannot become a Don because Don was wanted by 35 countries worldwide. You are wanted by just myself, the Mark of Zambia, Zambia, uh, all of us in Zambia, we want you. So you cannot be Don. Anyways, that just thought I would just intercede and give you some information. Okay. So let me tell you, this does not please me talking to you. You you are not a young man yourself. Eh? You 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 reached a certain age. I don't know how old you are exactly, but uh, from the photo I've seen of you, you are a certain age and you are supposed to be a mature man. Eh? So you are the one who started this. I'm reminding you of this fact, and now you're hiding. Let me tell you, 
you know i'm the kind of guy i like to finish things so if you start something please have the guts to finish it because i'm i'm getting impatient to find a solution to this problem the way you're talking is like you are telling me that when you start to eat uh, your lunch or your dinner just to finish it that is what you're trying to tell me is that what you're trying to say it, it appears so okay. so now i'm the one who wants the solution the the, the, the as fast as possible Do you understand and you hiding is not going to help at all mr banda so please get your head out of that hole and pick up the phone or just uh, tell me when you want to fly i'll send you the tickets by the way, talking of presidents, African presidents, I would just like to say on a very, on another note here, that uh, the two presidents that I admire the most was Malimu Julius Nyerere of Tanzania and Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda of Zambia. These were great men. These were indeed the incredibly great men and great presidents. And we will never forget them. We will never forget these people. It, Thank you very much for that. Uh, with that, I must add one more word because I agree with you. Nerere and uh, Kenneth Kaunda were great, uh, great presidents. And uh, when Nerere was uh, confronted with Idi Amin, Mr. Mr. Amin, back in the day, the Buffalo Amin was uh, making this statement that I will be able to box you with one hand behind my back. Just wanted you to know that. They were not at all like some of the other the, the presidents that we had in uh, in Africa. People who, who just didn't have that kind of dedication to their people. But uh, so now, tell me.